hello everyone welcome to the channel i am really excited to share with you this new model family from hugging face itself which is called as small lm2 i have been covering these small lm models from hugging face for quite some time now and i have been with them from the start and always found out that these models run on cpu without any hitch and they're of very very good quality despite of their sizes you can see that i have covered this small lm previously around three months ago which was 135 million to 360 all the way up to 1.7 billion and all of them were really good whether you try them out on your local system on cpu on gpu on phone on tablet wherever you can they always perform quite nicely given their sizes so in this video we are going to have a look at this new version new flavor of these models which is small lm2 we are going to install one of them locally and i'm going to go this time with 1.7 billion instruction fine-tuned one and then we will play around with it to see how they perform this time i will also be giving you a quick rundown of its architecture what is involved there and then we will locally install it and play around with it before I do that, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. With its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Now, let's install this small lm to 1.7 billion instruct and while installing i will be giving you some of the information about this really amazing model so first let me show you what my operating system is so i have this ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram but you can run these models on cpu too easily and i will show you what you need to change in the code which i'm going to show you as usual let's create a virtual environment with conda you can use python virtual environment or even you can go without it okay so let's now install all the prerequisites which include torch and updated repo of transformer if you're running the older version please upgrade it and that is going to take two to three minutes and let's go and look at this model what exactly this model is so small lm2 is a family of compact language models and they are available in three sizes as i was just showing you they come in 135 million 360 million and 1.7 billion parameter they are um, you can use them as a pre-trained one or the fine-tuned one they are capable of solving a wide range of tasks while being quite lightweight enough to run on device and this 1.7 billion model this demonstrates significant advances over its pre predecessors small lm 1.7 billion particularly in instruction following knowledge reasoning and mathematics it excels and we will test it out when we install it it was also trained on 11 trillion tokens using a diverse data set combination which includes fine web azure dclm the stack a lot of other mathematics and coding data sets which hugging face has curated by themselves they also then created this instruct version through supervised fine tuning using a combination of public data set and their own curated data sets and then they applied direct preference optimization technique which means that they gave it a rejected answer accepted answer and then the model is more grounded in what is a human preference in terms of uh, question answering also this instruct model supports tasks such as text rewriting summarization and function calling through various other data sets so that is what this model is i hope that now you know it also before i move forward i would like to really thank mass compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So let's check our terminal. It is still okay. Now that's all done. Now let's run my Jupyter notebook and then we will play with this model in the browser environment. 
So let's now import our libraries from transformers. Then this is our checkpoint. Now here, if you don't have GPU, just uh, replace it with this CPU. That's it. And it will be running on your uh, CPU device. So let me run it. So the model is being downloaded and uh, you can see that even with this under 2 billion parameter model, the size is just 3.42. That's about it. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And the model is downloaded. Let's do the inference. For inference, it's a simple chat template where we are passing the prompt to um, this tokenizer, which is converting it into tokens. Model is generating the output on the basis of those tokens with some of the hyperparameters and then returning the results back to us. And then we are printing it out after decoding it. So let me run it. So first I'm asking it, what is the capital of Tonga, which is a, which is an Pacific Island near uh, Australia? Not that near, but still near enough. And the answer is this. That's right, Nokolofa. That is totally correct. Let's run another one. And in this one, I'm just checking its multilinguality. I'm not sure if it is multilingual, the model, but let's try it out. Meanwhile, that happens. Let's also check our GPU consumption. How much GPU it is taking at the moment. And I'm going to check it out. So around 8 GPU of under 7, sorry, 7 GPU of VRAM. So if you have a 8 GB VRAM GPU should be more than enough. And if you have a powerful CPU, then it should work. There you go. So you see Arabic is fine. <clears throat> Hindi is not good. And Thai is also doesn't look good to me. Yeah, rest of them is just okay. Tiamoya, that is fine. Urdu is totally off. So it is not multilingual, but I think given the size of the model it is not multilingual still i think not bad at all and i think arabic is not that bad at all i mean yeah i think it could be better but if you're arabic speaking or your native speaker of these languages please confirm in the comments let's try to confuse the model so i'm asking it how many letter f are there in the word strawberry and it says there are three letter f's in the word strawberry so model is confused what about R? Let's see if it can do R1. Three letter R's, that is correct. You see, so maybe they have hard coded it anyway. So let's try out another one. I'm going to try it out with some of the rewriting tasks. So I'm just going to say, rewrite following text. And the text text is this. Let me make it proper formatted. So I have just grabbed this random English text and I'm asking it to rewrite it. There you go. So has it. Let's check it out. Let's go down. So this is the original one. And then if you read through it, I think it has just put it as a verb. But yeah, it has changed a bit, but not much really. Yeah, so rewriting is not that good, but they said that it is. Anyway, let's try out a few maths questions. So in the math question, I have just given it this equation and the correct answer is 20, which it has done well, really good. Let's ask another one, bit tougher. So I'm asking it to solve this equation, which is bit vague. So let's see what model does here. There you go. So it says that again, it has gone one by one. Solution is, yeah, it's not that good, but I will take it. It is quite vague. And next, I have asked it, uh, asked it the coding question. So I'm asking it to convert the Java method into Python. So if you come down here, yep, that's perfectly well. The Python function, so coding is good. That is nice. And let's try out another one where I'm asking it to repair the code. So I have just given it the C++ code snippet and I'm asking it to fix it. So it is going to identify what is wrong with it. There you go. And then not only it has given us the correct code, but also it has given us the reasoning behind it as what was the issue, which is correct. And then it has fixed it. Really impressive. So you see, even the model is quite small, quite compact, but still good enough and really good contender for modern day 
phones i believe where you can either even then even run them raw with these or use any app to do there are various apps which are available for different um models and variants of phones which you can search my channel i have done heaps of videos around it just search with it you should be able to find them but totally uh, amazing stuff really like it as usual small lm really rocks if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for all the support and watching